Hey guys, Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time viewer, thank you for stopping by. Today is my very first of all time favorites video. This is favorites for March 2015. I'm so excited to be starting this with you guys. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products to share with you. Um, some of them were gifted to me. Some of them were bought with my own money. The ones that were gifted to me, I'm under no obligation to do a review or a video by the company. So my thoughts are strictly my own and these are products that I actually do love and believe in. So let's start with some lashes. So these lashes are my Flutter Lashes. These are the Roxy's and they are half lashes. So they don't go across your whole lid, they just go across half of your eye, if you can see just on the outer corner here. And the reason why I love these is they are mink, so they are so natural looking. They are uh, real hair, so it's not um, synthetic looking or thick. Um, the mink is super light and feathery. Um, they are super easy to apply. That is the main reason why I love them. So in the mornings, or when I'm in a rush, I use these lashes because you just pop some glue on and then just stick them on. You don't have to put them in the middle and then fold a corner and then put that corner down. It takes two seconds to put them on and they are just amazing. They are, I think, $30 on the Flutter Lash website. Um, yeah, they're pretty awesome. My next product is a lipstick and if you have noticed, I'm extremely white. Like, it's a problem. And I do not tan at all besides fake tan, it's like the tanning lotion. And so it's really hard for me to find a nude that looks good on me. The Gerard Cosmetics nude color that's called nude is really dark on me. So it is not nude at all. And it's very brown because I have cool undertones. Whereas on a darker complexion that is a warmer undertone, it looks like a nude and it looks beautiful. So I've been waiting for them to come out with a nude for me and this one is my perfect nude. It is called Buttercup. And it is a pink hued light nude. And it is your lips but better in my opinion. When I have zero color on my skin, it is kind of darker. Um, not darker but it's darker than my natural lip tone but it adds a nice hint of pink, so it looks just like I've accentuated the color of my own lips. I can wear it with a smoky eye, I can wear it with bright colors, I can wear it with no makeup at all. It is seriously the perfect, perfect lipstick for me. So if you have fair skin like myself, you have to try it, you guys. I think it's, they have tons of discount codes. I think the regular price for them is $18 for a lipstick. I could be wrong. Um, this was sent to me so I don't know the exact price, but they have so many different coupon codes where you can get like three lipsticks for $29 or something, which is like drugstore price, so you can't really go wrong. It's very pigmented, very moisturizing, very rich. There are some shades, whoop, whoop. There are some shades by Jar Cosmetics that I find drying, but if you layer them over a lip balm, you're good to go, it's fine. So as you can see, my next favorite is uh, or are brushes. So these brushes are by Saime Beauty. It is phonetically spelled Saimi, but my lips feel so like bleh, right now with lip gloss on. I'm not a big lip gloss person. Sorry. Anyways, so the phonetic spelling is Saimi. So if you're looking for this company, it's spelled S A Y M E Beauty, but it is a Japanese company, so the pronunciation is a bit different. These are absolutely gorgeous brushes. They are so soft, like it is not even funny, okay? You know when you get new hair extensions and they are so silicone-y and so silky and luxurious and you just wanna like lie in them naked? That is what these feel like. So it makes applying makeup such a dream and a breeze and it blends colors so nicely and I really can't say enough about them. So there are, how many do I have here? I have two face brushes and I have five eye brushes. So the face brushes, these originally were white, by the way. They are dirty, I'm sorry I didn't clean them before the video. 
This one is the 1.4 brush and it is a big fluffy brush. It can be used for blush, it can be used for bronzer, it can be used for powder. It is so soft. Nope, oh, I dropped it. Don't need to pick it up. And the next one is a contour or blush brush. And it is the 1.5. Again, super freaking soft. The face brush or the eye brushes I have are. Let's see if I can do these in order. Yeeks. <sighs> so I have the 2.2, the 2.3, the 2.4, the 2.7, and the 2.8. So the 2.8 is a brow or eyeliner brush. I would say it's a brow brush because it is the very thick natural bristles. Uh, it's super uh, dense and super stiff, so I think it's amazing for liner and brow application. The 2.7 is amazing for packing on powder or packing on product. Um, I use it for my foiled finish, Makeup Geek shadows. It really gets that color without a lot of follow and it just packs the color right onto your eye super densely and it does a fantastic job. Again, so soft. And the next three, they all kind of look like blending brushes, but they are not. So this one on the end here, this is the 2.2 and it is a blending brush. It is just your typical big fluffy, if it was Sigma, I think it'd be an E40. Um, it is beautiful. It is amazing for just blending out all your color. And then your next two, the two point, let's see, the 2.3 is a little bit flatter at the base. So this could be used for your crease, it could be used for packing color on, it could be used for your inner corner, it could be used for a bunch of different things, but it is, is not as fluffy as the blending brush. And then the 2.4 it actually comes to a point. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera or not, but it comes to a point at the tip. So it is amazing if you don't want a complete cr cut crease, but you want a deeper color in your crease, and you just really want to have it nice and soft and blended. This is absolutely perfect. I use this every single day. I use all these brushes every single day. This is my favorite crease brush though of all time right now. Okay, so my next product is actually a skincare product. This is by True Self Organics, and it is the Detoxifying Mask. It is handmade, all natural, no bad stuff, as it says. So it helps with acne, uh, poor minimizing, wrinkles, blemishes, uh, and it is detoxifying. And when I first got this, I was like, oh, you know, a typical mask comes in kind of a small container, though. It is, how many ounces is in this thing? Four fluid ounces, or 100 grams. And, but then I felt it, I was like, this is a powder. And I open it up, and I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera without me spilling it. Ah, but it's a clay mask, but as you can see, it is powder. And what you do is you mix it with either some water, equal amounts um, as the product, and water, or apple cider vinegar if you want it to be more detoxifying. So this little jar goes a long, long way, because it expands when you mix it with the water, when you put it on your skin, it is so tightening that once it had hardened after about half an hour, I could not move my face and I looked in the mirror and my eyes were like this because it had tightened my, to make my face weird, it had tightened my skin so much that it had pulled all my skin and I have very hooded um, eyes so I have more loose skin here at the brows than some people do and it had pulled it all so tight and then like this so I looked so so weird but that's how you know it's working and my skin was immediately red afterwards but once you apply your moisturizer I went downstairs and my husband's like no your skin is not red I do not know what you're talking about so you can tell by being red and then cooling off very quickly that it is getting right into your deep down bottom pit of your skin and getting out all that gross nasty stuff from your pores and I have huge pores so getting my pores nice and clean is very important to me so, my next products are, this one is kind of a double product. These are kind of old favorites, but this is a new thing that I've done. So, this is my Pro Z palette, and I decided to depot all my naked palettes into it. And it has made my life so much easier. I cannot express to you. For bridal, for just doing my own makeup, it is amazing just to have all my naked colors in one palette. I can take this to a wedding 
and just have this and maybe one other matte palette and that is all I will need. I also mixed in my foiled finished Makeup Geek shadows. I'm missing two of them because I broke them. And then just some Kat Von D shadows on the side so that I do have uh, a matte brown in there because there is no matte brown in the Naked 1, 2, or 3. I do not have the Naked Basics palette because I have pretty much all those colors in other brands. But this is seriously the best. I always want the Buck and Naked shadows from the Naked 1. And then I want to reach for the highlighter from the Naked 3. And then I want like the silvery kind of greenish shade from the Naked 2 and it's really annoying in the morning having to open up every single palette so doing this is fantastic and a lifesaver. So my next uh, favorite which is another palette, the next two are both palettes. This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and this has received some kind of hit and miss reviews online and I do agree with the reviews for the most part because um, I love it and I hate it at the same time. So the things that I love about it that make it a favorite are the highlight shades. The highlight that is shimmery are, is this white one on the end and this peach one here. I wish there was an in-between shade because sometimes this one is too white on even on me and I'm super fair and this one is a little too peach where you can't really see it on my skin. It creates a subtle shimmer, um, but this is great for a darker complexion or a medium tone complexion, where this one is sometimes too much, but I do love it. It is super blendable, super buttery. Um, it's beautiful. It's perfect for a nose highlight for me. This color right here is my perfect highlight shade ever. The Anastasia um, Contour Kit, which I would think is the main rival for this, I have not tried the Kat Von D shade light yet, but this shade is perfect. It actually is a highlight on fair skin, whereas the Anastasia one is a little too dark. It is darker than my actual skin, so it would not highlight at all. It would completely defeat the purpose of the product. And the contour shades in that palette are just a little too orange for my cool fair skin. So this palette is amazing because of the contour shades. They're super cool tone, super ashy. There's a dark one here that'd be good on deeper skin tones than mine. And there's a warm shade at the end that is great for bronzing the skin. And these two in the middle are very ashy. This one especially, it is pretty much the taupe blush by NYX. Uh, just put in this palette here. A little warmer than taupe blush, but pretty much identical. The only problem with it is that the contour shades are so pigmented that they don't blend out that well. Even if you're a great blender, even if you have the best brushes, it is very hard to blend out. My The first time I wore it, I didn't realize how much product I was getting on the brush with just a, just a dab. I got so much product and my sister-in-law was like, do you have a bruise on your head? And I was like, no. And then I was like, oh my god. So just saw my makeup that I did it was a bruise. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But I knew that it wasn't blended in that great, but I didn't think anyone would notice. Thank God it was just a day that I was staying in. So yeah, you really have to use a little bit of product and really make sure to blend it out because the contour shades in the NYX palette are quite um, muddy. But the highlight shades, oh, oh my god, they are fantastic in every way. So my last favorite, I saved this for last, I'm going to be doing a full review on it so I'm not going to get too into the product, but this is by Suva Beauty and this is the Pro Eyeshadow Palette. This was gifted to me by the owner of the company, Shayna, she is from Vancouver, you guys should go check her out, she has a YouTube channel as well. I'll find the link and I'll link it below, but um, yeah, she's awesome and she puts together this palette and she is a beauty educator so she knows what works and what doesn't. And these colors, oh my gosh. I know you want to say, oh, it just looks like a Morphe palette, but this is actually fantastic quality. It is so pigmented. It is not like one of those um, private label, is that what it's called? It is not like one of those kind of Coastal Sense Morphe palettes, um, crown brush palettes. It is on the level of Makeup Forever, you guys. And if you think of the cost of Makeup Forever, I think it is 
I think it's $15 for a pan if you don't have the discount. Um, this is way cheaper. So I think this is $100 for this whole palette. And it comes with any bright color you need. It comes with a lot of neutral colors as well. I love mattes. I'm a sucker for mattes, especially the colorful shades. And these colors, the shimmers, are on par with the foiled finish um, Makeup Geek shadows. So they're super shimmery. And... Yeah, they, I'll give you one swatch here because I don't want to do too much because I am going to be doing a tutorial. So, or sorry, a review. So I'm just going to take some of the kind of turquoise color on my finger. Look at that. Do you see that? Do you? I don't know if you do. Oh, honey. Honey. And look, it's still on my finger. Tons. Like, what? What is that madness? So it comes in with two, actually palettes that you can take out of the case. Ah! Like you can take out of the case like so. And it is perfect for makeup artists because they're huge pans where you can just dip your brush in. Don't worry about getting any colors from any surrounding shades. You have tons of room to work with. They are out of this world perfect. So I will be doing a review on that for you guys. Again, this is the Suva Beauty palette. And that is all my, just look at that. Ah, that is my favorites for this month, you guys. If you'd like to see me do some products that I do not like, like kind of like how Nikki Tutorials does her hits and oh God knows, I would love to feature a product, well, I would love to feature a product I don't like, but if that's something that you guys want to see, let me know in the comments. And make sure to like this video, please comment and subscribe to my channel, as well as going to my Instagram, at Lashes Love and Leather, where I do tons of different looks every single day. Um, oh, you, she can come in, it's okay. It's okay, she can come in. Baby sad. Daddy won't let him in to see me because I'm filming. <laughs> it's a good daddy. Anyways, yeah, that's all for today, you guys. I hope that you liked this video. I hope that you found some cool products that you want to try. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.